Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. Let's have, have a, drink. a drink. If I sound sick, it's because I am. He is so sick right now. Well, I was really sick on the weekend, which you're, I don't even know when you're watching this. So it's like, who knows when the weekend was. Could be the weekend. Anyway, we mm. are going to do a Q&A. You asked a lot of cues on Instagram and we are going to get into them. We posted the last video and there's a lot of questions. I guess I'll start with one that feels like a proper first one. Is this an official end or more of a break slash upload when you have something to share? Official end of the podcast. Mm -hmm. As far as just like us posting on here, it is, it's definitely more just when we have something to share. Yeah. Like we're still gonna be around. Kind of like this. We were like, let's film a Q&A because people seem to have a lot of questions. I should probably talk less. I was gonna say, give <clears> me the phone, babe, because, and I'll do the question. Because I sound horrendous. <laughs> What are Jess's plans now? Quitting social media. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're staying normally. I am staying normally. If I'm not, the one who's doing it. Hopefully things. more. I have some random like content things that I would love to try, but I know it wouldn't work on my channel. So part of me wants to create a new like just secret channel where I just do the little random videos that I've Let's been talking go. about that just wouldn't work on my channel. So we'll see. I definitely have more time now. So doing my stuff maybe an extra secret channel might come. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I know, I've been meaning to tell you. What? <laughs> Guys, we're all learning something here. How have you been doing recently being praying for you? Great, to be honest. Things are better than ever. That is the darn truth. Yeah, things are really good. We just went on vacation. That's one of our like goals for this year is to take more intentional breaks. Mm -hmm. And it was just so good. Like it was our first family vacation to Disney and World. Since Micaiah was born, it was like our first proper vacation. Yeah, with her. Like we've taken trips. Like we went to New York over Christmas, but that was with like, you know, Jess's parents, extended family. Yeah, it was, it was quite hectic. When you say vacation, it's like, oh, you relaxed Relaxing. and you were rejuvenated and blah, blah, blah. New York was not that. At all. Anyway, we've been doing really good. It just feels like we're entering a new season, but like every time we're like, I feel like it's like, okay, we're entering this new season. It's like a new season related to work, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And this new season is like a new season to just like life in general is fully changing. I mean, we've entered new seasons like moving to a different state or whatever. Having a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The circumstances are relatively the same, if that makes sense. But it's just like, focusing more on family. I don't know, it just like feel, it just feels different. It does focusing feel so a lot more different. on like God and I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I feel You've like I'm doing good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, things are awesome. How did it go with the renovation of the house in Florida that you guys did after building your house there? The reason why we never showed it, like we showed that we were doing it and then like we never showed what the, happened yeah. is because we moved before it finished. So we actually never saw it finished. So we, we never saw it finished in person. We have pictures that a friend of ours went and took for us to get the after photos and then we have all the before photos. So it was like pretty cool it uh, being able to do that. It turned out so cute. And if we were to have stayed in Florida, like we loved that house so much. It was smaller than the one that we built. We I probably like would have moved, moved in into that. Yeah. yeah, we loved it. And we loved the style and like how it renovated. So mm -hmm. it turned out really good. It was pretty sick. We left everyone hanging with that one. How has life been not filming routinely? It's been really good. It's been like, I don't even know how to word it. It's the first time that I'm like not internally identifying as a YouTuber or a content creator, which feels kind of weird, but it's like refreshing and new and my, my. I love chill, bro. Not like it was like fully 100% my identity before, but it's like if you work somewhere and do like a very specific thing for work, it's like you do that, like that is your thing or like mm. you are an accountant or whatever it is. And for my whole adult life, since I was 18 years old, I was a content creator and now I'm like, I don't need to be that. I'm more so like trying to identify with like, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, father, whatever, filmmaker. And that's, I'm trying to like lean into that more. And I invest in real estate, mm -hmm. my family. That's kind of like the three things that I'm like focusing on, if that makes sense. I watched a video yesterday that I actually think you should watch too. It's by a girl called Shelby Church. She dives into why so many YouTubers are quitting. And it really does feel like, okay, you've kind of like quit. I don't feel like I've quit at all, but she made such solid points into like reasons why. Shout out, just go watch that. But for me, all I'm gonna say is I still vlog every single week, so it doesn't feel any different for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the Jess and Gabriel channel, we were doing more podcasts anyway, so it didn't feel like we were 
doing like couple vlogging. I would say so it feels different for you that you have way more time. Back. I have more time, yeah. Yeah, which is great. A lot more time. How is your mental health? Love you guys. I pray you are healthy. Everyone is so Things sweet, are great. first of all. I know, thank you guys for being awesome. I would say like, I even noticed such a shift in your mental health. Like you just, I think feel lighter and like more free and more like free to do literally whatever. Yes. I think I was trying to hold on to something that I was supposed to let go mm. for a while. I feel like God was allowing me to feel bad about it over time, if that makes sense. Like I was trying to do it myself and it was getting me into these like really not good places. And he was trying to be like, yo, rely on me. It's fine, I got it. You don't need to be a workaholic, I'll provide chilling when i finally like stepped into that it was like oh wow this is like what i was supposed to feel like for so long that's my answer to that but speaking of mental health <laughs> yeah we did want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video BetterHelp. better help you guys have definitely heard about better help on our channel we have talked about therapy and better help so much it is the world's largest online therapy service you Take a little, why do I always look at you by the way? I, I don't know, whenever you always. do brand deals, you like look at me to like affirm I'm what like, you're doing. Did you know that like, you just take a quiz online? You take a quiz online? It just outlines preferences and like what you're hoping to get from therapy. For so example, if I was a Christian. Exactly. And I wanted a, another Christian therapist to understand where I'm coming from. You can select that you'd prefer a Christian therapist. They then match and what else? super quickly. And you can start chatting to them, scheduling. <laughs> So I can't do this seriously anymore. You can text them at any time. This is unbelievable. You can schedule video call and text sessions. We have two friends that regularly use BetterHelp and they both both raved about them. Yeah, they raved about really them. really great. So if you've been thinking about talking to somebody this year, we have an offer. It is betterhelp.com slash Jess and Gabriel. And that will give you 10% off your first month. So we will leave that link down below. Better H E L P dot com slash Jess and Gabriel. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. And sponsoring this video. Was it difficult to decide to stop the podcast? And when did you know? It was. Oh my gosh. That was one of the most difficult decisions that yeah, I made. I have a chronic issue of starting projects and then stopping them. Starting projects that don't have an end date. That's the issue, is I start like a new thing that's like indefinite. Start a clothing company. It's like, that's just like indefinite. Start a coffee company, that's indefinite. Start a podcast, indefinite until you stop. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm more, much more of like a project ba based person in terms of like, it needs to have like a finish line of like, mm -hmm. I do the thing and then it's done. It was very hard to make the decision to stop because it was like, oh, there's me again failing at another thing. And it's <clears> not <throat> about the fact that you were failing it or whatever. We were having fun with it and I especially was having fun with it. So I think it even just took you a while to like be able to be fully honest with me that you wanted to fully stop. Like mm -hmm. you would tell me how you felt about doing it, but it didn't feel like an option for a really long time because mm -hmm. we were doing it together and I really loved it. But it was very difficult. We talked to so many people just trying to get advice on it. And um, I think the main thing was we didn't want to let you guys down, especially when we would meet people in public. That was the thing they were saying was like, I, I love know. your podcast. Everyone was saying like, I listen to the podcast every week. I'm like, oh my gosh. But <laughs> it meant a lot. And anyway, it was so difficult, but I know even now, like we both feel like it was the right decision for now. Mm -hmm. And it was a great little one season podcast. Like yeah. I had so much fun with it. Maybe I'll do something like that again one day because I had so much fun with it, but. On your secret second channel. Literally. What is a book that has influenced your life? The Bible. The Bible? Duh. Okay, no, but recently, uh, Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. Mm. That's like helped me through a lot of getting to trying, to, trying to get to where I'm at right now. Atomic Habits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I didn't finish the book yet. The issue is <laughs> you only finish fiction fiction books. I'm a big fiction girl. If it's a non-fiction book, you like read a little bit and you're like, I get the gist and then you just don't finish it. Well, when we got married, that's all you were reading too. And so I was like, oh, I guess like adults read non-fiction, like self-help books. And so I was just starting to read them because Gabe read them, but I just love fiction. Anyway, Atomic Habits, yeah. you've told me a lot about that book. I feel like that has helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. And another book I haven't finished in <laughs> Gabe yeah, what is it? Take Back Your Family. That one's amazing. Take I Back really Your like Family. It's by a buddy of mine. 
Jeff Bethke. Honestly, I recommend it to anyone who's just like an adult. It changes the way you like view family in this modern era where we're doing it so wrong. That's part of why I'm really excited to like, now that, you know, I'm a dad and there's more to like our world and just kind of like doing our job and whatever. We have a vision for the future of our family. And like, that's what I'm striving towards and like how does the business work into that and how does our home here how does where we live how does our community like well, all this stuff that like this vision that i have for like my family as a whole not just like my own personal career obviously we all have our own careers but it's how does the career fit into the vision for the family so i'm not being selfish with it and neglecting my family doing my career at the expense of like my family if that makes sense how many kiddos do you hope to have you put this one in there <laughs> I did. Five. How many? Is that really your answer? I think that's my answer. I think we're on different. We're fully on different We are. Answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to say like, maybe two. I had an epiphany. I think it was in December where I was thinking when I'm sitting around my table and all my kids are young adults, what do I want that to look like? And I want a full table. Yeah, I totally understand. We'll just have to <clears> see. <throat> right now we have one and she's keeping us on our toes. Yes. But then also like a lot of people who are like i guess in my orbit they have warned me like don't make decisions to stop growing your family based off of how you feel now raising toddlers and i'm like that's very wise advice i say five because it's like that just seems like a well-rounded five kids that's number. like i just can't imagine right now i can't imagine two like i can only imagine micaiah right now but yeah you're right like we are currently going through toddler years so yeah, yeah. everything is kind of hectic we're probably floating between two and two five. and five <laughs> yeah. are you still two i would like to start there and then we'll see <laughs> reevaluate <laughs> from a non-influencer just curious how you can afford to take breaks from work we have some employees those employees take breaks and they we still pay them, you know, like mm -hmm. paid vacation days and whatnot. And that's just like normal if you're working a job, that's normal. When you are, I don't even think it's like influencer is, it's more like entrepreneur so in important. general where you're working for yourself. Your income is connected to your time most of the time. In our world of being influencers, the way it kind of works is like the only thing that's consistent is AdSense, which is the money you get paid from posting YouTube videos, like the ad, the ads that run on YouTube videos. That you gets paid out monthly, but that's only contingent on you posting, posting and videos. So I guess getting enough views to yes, and get good ads. So it's consistent, but it also fluctuates. It's not like you're getting the same amount every month. It fluctuates based on the views that you get. So you take a break from that, you'll still get another payout the next month, but that will be way smaller because it's just views on old videos, not new ones that you're posting. Then there's brand deals. That's way more volatile. Cause like mm -hmm. there could be a month where you do two brand deals and another month where you do none. I guess she's asking about like us taking a break from this channel. You have to save money. You have to save money. We're still doing deals on our Instagrams, for example. And so we're just still trying to have different areas of income. Like this wasn't our main, like only place it's, it's, to get income. What we're really trying to do is because we're taking a cut on our income by like stopping doing some of this stuff is to just minimize expenses. So that's like- That's been huge for us. That's been year. really, really huge. It's just like where we're spending money on things that don't need to be spent, we're cutting that. Yeah. Our vision for 2024, visions for 2024, your vision and my vision. Um, Maybe a secret YouTube channel. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. We've made so many changes that I'm like really just taking one month at a time, I think. I feel like for you, you have more vision for the year. I want to make sure I make my short film this year. We're taking intentional breaks and like family vacations. Yes. I there's like specific things. There's not like an overall like we want to, yeah, I don't know. I think our vision is similar <clears throat> to mine. Yeah. That, the end. The end. How do you divide your time with Kaya? Does each one of you have 50% with her? No. Gabe's come up with a number the number in my head was 70 30. jess says it's probably not that skewed towards no you convinced me it's definitely 70 30. wow when you have babies they're much more dependent on the mom it's just how it's gonna be and she she truly is like down to who pushes her stroller she asks for mama yeah she doesn't want me mama, to push yeah mama. like if i push her stroller jess is walking to the side she gets annoyed because she wants jess to push it. but in the grand scope of childhood and raising a child into adulthood it starts i would say much more like mother heavy and then as time goes on i mean like my mom was homeschooling us mm -hmm. 
when we were younger, but then like as we, I became like an older teenager and stuff like that, my dad was spending a lot more time like teaching me things and like, yeah, like putting me through a real him. estate course and I was working with him and yeah, so it's like teaching and training me into my like teenage years as an adult. So it like kind of skews over time. I can already see more of that starting to happen. Like when we went to Disney, like you were able to be so active with her and I feel like this is all starting to get more and more like mm -hmm. you were like literally on the playground with her and you went on the roller coaster with her like i know that's not quite what you're saying in terms of like training yeah, yeah, yeah. them and teaching them but like i think she'll want to like we're just breezing by that you said roller coaster it was a little roller coaster it was a roller coaster <laughs> it's the dumbo ride anyway i'm coaster. just like starting <clears throat> to notice more things like that in terms of like her playing with you and her wanting to be like active you know, with you. And if you ask her who her best friend is, it's always daddy, so. It's this guy. Well, actually, last night she said burger. <laughs> Here we go, who's your best friend? She's like, burger. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You'll see us sometime soon. Next month. Next month. You'll see us next month. We have month. another video for next month, so. Love you guys. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Peace out. Peace out. From Jess. And Gabriel. Good tea. Yep.